So for this problem, we're going to divide the following polynomial using synthetic division. So we have 3x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 15x plus 2, and we're dividing this by x minus 2. So they want us to use synthetic division in order to do this division. So first thing that we need to keep in mind if we're using synthetic division, we're dividing this by x minus 2. So the number that we're actually testing, the number that we're actually dividing by is the number 2. Because remember that x minus 2 is a factor. And we typically set that equal to 0. And if we do that and solve, we actually get that x is 2. So 2 is going to be the number that we're dividing by here. And when we set up our synthetic division, we pull the coefficients of all of our terms in descending order. So starting with 3. Notice that we don't have an x to the third power term, but we do still need to take that into consideration in our synthetic division. So since we're missing that term, we represent it by using a 0 for that spot. So we pull the 3 from the x to the fourth, 0 from x cubed, negative 5 from x squared, 15 from uh, x to the first power, and then 2. Right, so let's go ahead and divide. So first step in synthetic division, drop the first number down. So we're dropping down 3. We then multiply. We do 3 times 2, which is 6, and we put it here in our next column, and we add. 0 plus 6 is 6. Then we multiply again. 6 times 2 is 12, and now we add. When we add that, negative 5 plus 12 is a 7. 7 times 2 is 14. When we add this, 15 plus 14 is 29. Then we do 29 times 2, which is 58. And when we add our final column, we get 2 plus 58, which is 60. Now that we're done with our synthetic division, we need to write our polynomial uh, that's remaining here that we got for our answer. So keep in mind that this 60 over here, this is going to be our remainder. Right. So we didn't get a 0, so that means that 2 is not a 0 of this polynomial uh, function here, but that's okay. So whenever we write our quotient, remember that we write it kind of from, uh, from right to left because we need to understand that going from right to left, this 29 represents our constant, 7 is the coefficient of our x to the first power, 6 is the coefficient of our x to the second power, 3 is the coefficient of our x to the third power. All right, so the way that that's going to look, it's going to look like 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 7x plus 29. And then we need to also add our remainder to it. So when you write your remainder, you're just tacking it onto the end and you're adding it. So we're going to add 60 and then we put that over our divisor of x minus 2. Right, so 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 7x plus 29 plus our reminder of the 60 over the x minus 2 that we divided. So this is our answer for this problem here. Otherwise, that's it for this video.